Stick with me and I'm going to show you how to get a little extra mileage out of that wheatgrass. As some of you guys might know, I'm trying to clear out some of my old footage and make sure it doesn't get lost forever. And some of the footage I found was me growing sprouts. I'm going to talk about that maybe more coming up. I'll show you my formula for the supercharged sprouts I grow. But right now I'm going to talk about wheatgrass. So let me take you over to that footage and uh, we can kind of chuckle at me with the short hair. But <laughs> there we go. Here we go. For some of you that are new to my channel, you might not realize that I love growing things. And one of my favorite things to grow is sprouts. It's one of the best bangs for the buck nutritionally. They're cheap to grow and you get a ton of nutrition out of these things. Like a jar like this would probably cost me about 12 cents to grow, but cost probably $5 for organic sprouts. This isn't a super detailed tutorial on how to grow wheatgrass. I assume you kind of already know how, but in case you've never seen it and you're just curious, you take a flat like this or a jar and you throw the wheatgrass seeds in on some, uh, I usually use like coconut core or uh, some sort of organic dirt. And once they get going, it takes about two weeks, you trim off what you need and you juice it. And sometimes you get two, maybe three grows out of it. But eventually it kind of stops growing very well. And you can just pull the whole thing up like this and put it out in the yard. You can actually get a few more growths where a lot of people just throw that stuff in their compost. But check it out. I put this out in the yard and it just randomly grows again because of the sunlight. And you could come out and harvest it. I think this is my fourth harvest from this one patch. So the big secret here is by putting it outside, it seems to accelerate the growth with the sunlight and it will keep growing um, four or five, six more times all out of one patch. Usually I have to get rid of a patch after about two to three growths. So there's your 50 cent secret. So just some tips. Since you've grown this stuff outside, you really got to clean it. I use vinegar and uh, filtered water to clean it. Sometimes I'll even soak it in a, a thing of filtered water. Or sometimes you just soak it down with a lot of it. And so you get an idea here of how I do that. Because you're not growing it inside in a flat, you need to uh, definitely sterilize it. But you don't want to, you know, cook it or boil it or you don't want to leave the vinegar on too long so it destroys the nutrients. Also, some tips for dealing with wheatgrass is, you know, you don't really get too much. You're only going to get maybe a half ounce to an ounce out of it. And not all juicers are the same. The masticating juicers like this Omega is uh, the ones I prefer if you're going to juice. Now you can get in real big trouble juicing for weight loss. Like if you juice or blend or do a lot of smoothies with a bunch of fruit. But with greens, if you're trying to lose weight, um, this is you're not going to have any problems with greens. I mean, you can pretty much load up. And the reason people are crazy about uh, wheatgrass is because... When you actually look at the structure of the molecule of wheatgrass, it's very, very close to human blood. So it has all the right components in it. It's almost like, and it's kind of a little slangy, but it's almost like um, having a, a fresh new blood come into your body because it has it's so, so close biologically to uh, human blood. So that's the, the whole idea. Is, and it's supposed to be uh, just unbelievably good for you but it's expensive and it's a pain so it's if you don't mind putting a little elbow grease in it's it's best to just grow your own and juice it so when you finish up there's really not a whole lot there maybe an ounce shot or so and you try not to drink the foam on top that's really oxidation I, I usually try to skim that off and sometimes it's just a byproduct you can't get around also it's the stuff that kind of tastes gross so when you take your shot, you don't want to drink it all at once. You really want to swish it around your mouth and try to let the enzymes work under your tongue and uh, hold it as long as you can really stand to hold it and even swish it around 
to put a little oxygen in it before you put it down. Well, I hope you learned a little extra about wheatgrass. Maybe you didn't know that you can get a lot more gross if you put it outside when you finish. Let it go into the earth. Let it get some sunshine and it will start picking up nutrients again and you can keep using it. After a while, I had multiple flats outside and um, could just go around and snip and snip and snip. And I saved a bunch of money growing uh, wheatgrass that way. It will lose its potency as you grow it over and over. But, you know, it just use a little more then. It's totally like free wheatgrass, you know. And uh, what's funny is if you have a cat, they'll totally stop by and eat some or maybe a pet. If uh, some people just simply put it outside just for their pets, who knows? I heard turtles like it. Surprisingly, when I looked up wheatgrass on the internet, all these people had pictures of their turtles eating it. Uh, who knew? <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. One last thing I forgot to mention. Uh, I will link the Omega Juicer, and that'll take you directly to my Amazon. You can go in that way if you want. Anyway, go check out the uh, Omega Juicer. It is my favorite if you're going to uh, juice greens because it actually masticates and breaks cells walls down instead of like the centrifugal ones just kind of squeeze the juice out they don't really break the cell walls down so you're not getting all the nutrients so anyway i hope you learned something and please check out the other uh stories i have on my channel i have a lot of gardening and, and growing stories if you like growing your own food check them out you'll see them appearing here lastly if you're going to shop on Amazon, please go through my link below. It really helps since uh, YouTube barely pays us anymore. And uh, it helps keep the channel afloat. Thank you so much. And I'll see you at the next video.